Look down for the drills That's anywhere, that's any time You should still get pills I'm aiming for weeks So I'm aiming to kill Sit up in the men's Don't give a fuck You should still get drills All I wanna do is crush that pool My niggas them told me Make peace we go to war I said fuck that I wanna drill now And then drill some more Smoke my man in the face, yeah that point got scored Couldn't give a toss about law, niggas no CP More time if it was done by the 7, it was done by me I ride for my G's, put my heart on the streets So if you see me, that's not my teeth So chat tough and I'm spinning brown Off the ops, how that spin the sounds When I spin the bang, just try and know that's a nigga down And where I'm from, we always know to keep things around Hi all, it's Lord Steve Punch Out TV. How are you all doing on this uh, Monday evening? Um, just a quick video. Just watched a, a, a great interview with Michael Hunter speaking to uh, Boxing Social. This was from the 2nd of Ju uh, July. Talking about when he was let go by the zone and match room. Um, but I just found it interesting because I was only talking about this um, at the weekend, speaking to Mike and other brothers on the panel. I asked Mike the question Do you think that Michael Hunter was let go by the zone and, and match room uh, because he, he was considered as a threat? Because I, I, I really rate Michael Hunter. I, I consider him a, I, I do consider him as a threat. I think he's a good fighter. And I said to Mike, do you think he's considered as a threat to like the likes of Dillian White, um, Anthony Joshua? Do you think that's why they let him go? And then I just come across this interview on YouTube. It's on Boxing Social's uh, site. Shout out to Boxing Social for doing this interview. But it's a great interview. And he summed up exactly what I was trying to ask Mike the other day. Uh, Michael Johnson. Saying uh, he said he was considered as a threat. That's why they've let him go. And he talks about how he wanted the Erkovich fight. And they were saying, no, no, he's only a baby. And he was calling for other fighters. And they wouldn't let him fight them. Uh, but I don't want to spoil, if you do watch the the interview, I don't want to spoil it. But that's what I've come across when I found out that he he had let go. And uh, according to Mike, when uh, Sky Sports announced the news that he'd been let go, Michael Hunter didn't even know that he'd been let go by the zone stroke match room. And he uh, put on Twitter a question mark saying, and then saying that he didn't know anything about it. That's what... Uh, Mike, Michael Johnson was telling me but yeah if you, if you want to go and watch it it's, um, it's a really good interview I can say it's on Boxing Social on YouTube it's on their page and uh, I just found it interesting because I, I, I consider Michael or I, I do consider him the, an, a, a threat I think, I think he's got a very good chance of getting a world title he seems a humble guy he's got his head screwed on and it does see. It does struck struck me funny how the zone just let him go, or should I say, match room. They just let him go, and he said he enjoyed fighting on there, and he didn't have a clue why he's gone. But yeah, that's all I've got for you. It's just a quick one. So uh, from me to you, I'm out. Peace. <laughs>